the demand of the increasingly competitive and global market urges a change of perspective from companies, from a parochial vision to adapt to the target market of their internationalization, and for that, it is fundamental to characterize this new environment. With this project, we intend to approach an external analysis methodology for identifying opportunities and threats, especially in the critical socio-cultural dimension, to adapt the product or brand of a company that intends to start an internationalization. There are several motivations to internationalize a business, such as geographic proximity, linguistic and cultural affinities, competitive pressure, growth strategy, and others. To approach the internationalization methodology, we will choose the systematic analysis since there is use of well-defined and objective criteria based on a set of relevant indicators on a global scale and the markets that are least of interest are eliminated. So, for the selection of markets, we use the best analysis tool considering the dimensions political, legal, economic, sociocultural and technological. Characterizing the political legal environment of the target market for internationalization involves looking for all the information about its political, governmental and normative configuration that may affect the entire management of the company. Some researchers recognizing culture as a relevant factor in the world order pointed to culture as a driving force behind world conflicts. And in fact, the clash we have been witnessing has less and less to do with ideological differences and more to do with differences of a cultural nature. One of the most used analytical approaches to sociocultural factors in the academy and practical environment is the Hofstede model, a six dimensions model that explains how workplace values are influenced by culture. These dimensions are power distance, individualism against collectivism, masculinity against femininity, uncertainty avoidance, Confucian dynamism, and indulgence against restraint. Comparing the country of origin and the country of destination in an internalization is fundamental. The more distance the indicators are, the more company managers will have to adapt the product to the target market. After characterizing the target market using the best tool, it is necessary to identify the strengths and weaknesses that the company has to deal with the specific characteristics of the target market. To do that, another tool is used, SWOT analysis, S for strengths, W for weaknesses, O for opportunities and T for threats. Through the visualization of a lecture, we concluded that Unilever, a multinational company, follows the systematic internationalization methodology we presented as well as the globalization strategy, which is changing from the parochial perspective in which the world is seen through the same lens to adapt to local characteristics.